Hello again, everybody. This is Kevin Wallace, Double CCA and Cisco Press author. And in this video, we want to talk about some different ways of filtering routes with OSPF. If you watched my previous YouTube video, we took a look at how to set up OSPF version 3 to support the routing of both IP version 4 and IP version 6 networks using the address families approach. Well, that's the base configuration that I'm going to be starting from in this demo. Before we get into the demo though and we start filtering some routes, let's talk about the different options for filtering routes within OSPF. We've got three main options. One option is we could filter at the ASBR, the Autonomous System Boundary Router. As a route comes in from another autonomous system, like EIGRP in this case, as part of the redistribution configuration, we could say we want to filter out specific routes. We're not going to take a look at redistribution in this video. That's a topic unto itself. We are going to take a look at two other options, though, for filtering OSPF routes. One option is filtering routes as they're coming from one area going into another area. We're going to be using a Type 3 LSA to advertise networks from one area into another area with OSPF. And what we could do is on the ABR, the Area Border Router, we could use a filter list to filter out specific routes. Another option is to filter out routes from the IP routing table from a router, a single router, that lives within an area. Take a look at R1 on screen. It lives in Area 0. What if we just wanted to filter a route from R1, but we didn't want to filter that route from R2? Well, it's one of the characteristics of OSPF that all the different routers in an OSPF area need to share the same database. We cannot have a different OSPF database for R1 if it belongs to the same area as R2. So what do we do? Well, what we could do is we could have the route installed in the OSPF database, just like it's going to be in R2, but that doesn't mean it's going to necessarily get to the IP routing table. What we can do instead is put a distribute list in the middle to intercept that. Remember, routes that are in the OSPF database, they're candidates to be injected into the IP routing table. But before it's injected, we could filter it with a distribute list. Now, let's go out to a live interface and take a look at how to filter routes as they come from one area into another area, and also see how we could use this distribute list option to filter routes from being added to a specific router's IP routing table. To begin with on router R5, let's just take a look at our IP routing table. We'll do a show IP route. And let's say that we want to filter out these two enter area routes. These are coming to us from area 1, R5 is in area 0. Let's say we want to filter those two routes. How can we do that? Well, we said if we want to filter routes as they're being advertised from one area into another area, we can do that on the ABR, the Area Border Router, which in this case is Router R4. So on Router R4, let's go into Global Configuration Mode, and let's configure an IP prefix list. We say IP prefix hyphen list, and I'm going to give it a name of, we'll say, no hyphen area one hyphen nets, that's just a name that I came up with, and I'm going to give this a sequence number of 10. We're going to have other sequence numbers, and my instruction in sequence number 10, which is going to be the first of my sequence numbers, I'm going to say that we want to deny one of those inter-area routes that we saw. It was 192.0.2.0, and it has a slash 30 subnet mask, so let's deny that. Let's also deny, and I'll make this sequence number 20, let's deny the network of 198.51.100.0, again with a slash 30 mask. But I want to permit everything else. To permit everything else, I'll give this a sequence number of 30. I'll say permit, and the way I say I want to permit all networks, and this is not going to permit the ones that I've denied because this prefix list is being evaluated based on sequence numbers. So if I deny something in sequence number 10, just because I say permit everything in sequence number 30, that's not going to be permitted because it's already been denied. So as my final sequence number, I'm going to say I want to permit everybody. And I do that by saying 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0. And I want to include any prefix lengths. Don't care what the subnet mask is, I want it included. So I'm going to say the subnet mask is less than or equal to 32. That's going to be all inclusive. Now that I've created that prefix list, we can apply that as a filter list to our IP version 4 address family as part of our OSPF version 3 configuration. 
I'll say router OSPF v3 and uh, here on router r4 my process ID is 2 and I'll say address hyphen family IPv4 and I want to filter routes as they're going into area 0 so I'll say area 0 and I can say I want to filter routes coming into or going out of an area. We're going to filter routes as they're being injected into area zero. So we say area zero. And the filter list that we're going to use is the prefix list that we just created. So we're going to say prefix. And it was called no hyphen area one hyphen nets. And it's going to be as we're sending routes into area zero. So we use the keyword of in. And then we'll end our configuration. And what we should be able to do now is go back to R5, and those routes should no longer be there. Let's go back to R5, and let's do another show IP route. And sure enough, those inter area routes, they're gone. They're not here any longer. And as one other example in this demo, let's filter one of the routes in R5's IP routing table from being injected into its routing table. Let's take a look at what we have here. Let's get rid of this route, 192.168.1.0/24. Let's filter that from going into R5's IP routing table, but we cannot filter it from going into the OSPF database on R5 because R5 belongs to Area 0, and R4 also has an interface belonging to Area 0, and the databases have to match. So we have to allow the route to be installed in R5's OSPF database, but then just a split second before that route gets injected into the IP routing table, we can block it with a distribute list. Here's how we set that up. Let's go into global configuration mode, and we're going to create another IP prefix list. I'll say IP prefix hyphen list, and I'll call this one, I'll say filter underscore 192.168.1.0. And this will be sequence number 10. And I want to deny that specific network, which was 192.168.1.0 with a slash 24 subnet mask. I want to permit everything else. So I'll give a higher sequence number. I'll say 20. And I want to permit, just like we did on R4, 0.0.0.0 slash 0 with a prefix length less than or equal to 32. Now let's go apply that in the IP version 4 address family on R5. I'll say router OSPF version 3 for process ID 1 on R5. Notice that the process IDs do not have to match between neighboring routers, which is unlike EIGRP where we have to have matching autonomous systems. But with OSPF, it's a process ID. It's not an autonomous system, so they don't have to match. Now let's go into address family for IPv4. And let's apply our prefix list. We do that by saying distribute list distribute hyphen list prefix and we give the name of our prefix list which was filter underscore 192.168.1.0 and we want to do this in the inbound direction we're filtering routes going into the IP routing table and we're done let's see first of all if this route lives in the OSPF database let's do a show OSPF v3 database do we know about it there and we do. It's in the OSPF database, but is it in our routing table? Show IP route. And it is not there. There is no 192.168.1.0/24. We have now filtered that not from the OSPF database, but from the IP routing table. So to sum up, when we're filtering routes with OSPF, we've got three basic options. If we're coming in from another autonomous system, like another routing protocol, we could filter at the ASBR as part of the redistribution configuration. If we want to filter networks from being advertised from one area into another area, we could on the ABR, the area border router, we could use a filter list. Or if we want to filter a route from being injected into a router's IP routing table, even though it might exist in the OSPF database, we could use, as we just now did, a distribute list.